So hi everyone and welcome to a, a little catch up chat. We were just doing, I was just doing some editing on the computer and I got to thinking I've got lots of little bits and bobs on there which we haven't shown you guys or talked to you about really. So I thought what we'll do for Monday's video is to go through a few things that we haven't talked to you about, mm -hmm. talked with you about. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I think we've, I don't know whether it's because of all of the rain and uh -huh. then this weekend has been quite bright and quite dry. Yeah. That we felt as though we've had like a sudden release <laughs> and so so we've yeah. been out. We've, we've been, been doing out things. We've been out doing things and it's given us like a bit of a clear perspective on mm, possibly, the yeah. week that has gone by. Um, so I don't know. We, we just fancied a catch up. We did. It was really more about that really, wasn't it? A catch up of things that have been going on. Mm -hmm. We've shown you a few things on videos in previous videos, but we haven't kind of updated you on the what's outcome. Yeah. outcome that's uh -huh. the, yeah. yeah, so we thought we'd have a little bit of chat about that. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, so here we are. <laughs> so um, I suppose one thing that we talked about the furthest away you know, in the past was the PIPS cam, because I bought a little camera, as I'm sure you'll remember, and we've been trying to capture some animal, at least an animal. Of some, any animal. Any animal will do. <laughs> <laughs> trying to capture an animal on the PIPS cam, but unfortunately, we haven't had a lot of luck. No. We did actually catch the tail of a fox. Yes. Yes. Which I think Max and I mm. saw the morning before you got it on um, going across the land. Max yeah. and I were out walking and it was in the field next to us. So the fence between us and then all of a sudden just something shot away and Max reacted, mm. luckily always on his lead. Yeah. And then we mm. got this excellent view of the fox running away full pelt across yeah. the field um, for maybe three, four hundred metres. Mm. Uh, absolutely beautiful. All of its colours, golds, browns, blacks, whites, its tail big and fluffy, as big as its body absolutely stunning max was definitely disappointed in me because all he wanted to do was chase it but um yeah can't let him do that but no. absolutely stunning to see yeah beautiful yeah the camera did pick it up it did. probably probably the same fox i was i would imagine because yeah. it was on our on our land um, but it we i literally just got a tail of it so <laughs> it was like not even a second um it was just fleeting it was so fast as you said, it just went straight past and, and yeah. sort of disappeared. So there wasn't any any hard evidence, I suppose, <laughs> of this fox. Uh, we haven't caught it since, and we haven't got any other animals at all on the Pips Cam other than uh, yeah. other than nothing, other than just us going and picking it up and taking it back well, and things like that. Well, we, we had a neighbour's cat. Oh yeah, which you saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat or twice. And then I think you've had. Um, a different neighbour's dog, Candy's been oh, yeah, yeah, but that's, walking yeah, with, yeah. with her owner a couple of times, but yeah. literally... Uh, <laughs> but those aren't the it. sort of animals we've been trying to capture. <laughs> so, at the moment, however, there has been a lot of activity, boar activity around yeah, here. Elaine's a lot been in the village, yes. A lot, yeah. And I've never really seen it. I don't know if I've been sat in the house all the time editing and I've not seen what's going on out in the real world. But just down the road here, it's quite. Yeah, uh huh. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So um, Clara, that we've told you about before, her garden is all enclosed. Mm. Um, but then, opposite that house, there's an open olive field, mm. and I came out probably Saturday morning, mm. and she was out there just looking and shaking her head. So we went and obviously mm. we had a look. Max picked up the scent straight away and big <laughs> gouges in the earth um, all around the the big old olive trees. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was just like, oh, shabbily, shabbily. Um, I was but, surprised by the amount of devastation, actually. Yeah. Um, 
I hadn't really noticed it. I don't know whether um, I've not really looked for it. I'm not really sure. But um, but yeah, when I'd noticed down there, this they had made made quite a mess. Yeah, quite a mess. And they've obviously woven their way around the open spaces in the the, the village mm. because just at the end of our house there's another section where it's open and mm. then you've noticed sort of going round yeah, and then yeah. round the back of our house there's mm. been more we're definitely starting to see signs of them i just need to capture them on film that's yeah. all that it is so that's uh, why you've set the camera up um, i've set the camera just in that place tonight, now yeah. yeah to try and capture something there yeah and hopefully we might see something and i think with the camera as well i'm trying to get a wide angle view the the views that i've been setting it up for have been quite narrow just because of trees or whatever it might be so i'm trying to make a bit more of a wide angle view and try and actually capture something within there yeah but i did see a wild boar so i do believe that they are actually a thing now uh ran in front of the car uh, about what three days ago yes uh -huh. and I was just coming back from our local uh, well a local village should I say and just driving back about four o'clock in the evening it wasn't dark or anything and then um, all of a sudden about 200 yards ahead of me so it was it was safe everything was safe uh, about 200 yards ahead of me a boar ran in front of the road ran in front of the car Across and the not road. the cute little baby ones that we saw oh. on our day out a few weeks ago. That's right. It was quite shockingly big, actually. Um, it may sound silly, but the first thought when I saw it that came to my head was a black bear. I thought, yeah, I did. And I think it was just my brain was catching up. My brain didn't understand what it had seen. And my first thought was black bear. Then within a second, obviously, I started to realise that you don't have black bears necessarily in Portugal, but you do have very big wild boars, and it was uh, it was very big, and mm -hmm. it was um, it looked like a very powerful animal. So it's kind of changed my perception of them a little bit. I still want to capture them on film, but my perception of I suppose you know the realization of the power of these animals because mm. definitely there is and a few people have mentioned that to us on videos oh, absolutely yes be you've careful got to be extremely them. careful be yes. careful of them and i think seeing those ones that that one rather had made me mm. possibly have a bit of a rethink yeah, yeah very and big. i don't know whether the increased activity or whether this is increased activity mm. um or there was a lot of hunting going on this morning mm. so the um yeah. The gunshots were going off. I wasn't quite sure where to to go for our walk with um, with Max, so we just mm. sort of stuck inside the village, and uh, he was a bit bored, just going up and down, up and down for a little <laughs> while. But better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So that was interesting. That was um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it's been a, been quite busy here. Yeah. Of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've also had a few. Um, things that have popped up like when we showed you the footage of mm. the well that yep. was full and then there was the frog inside the well and I was sort of quite overwhelmed at the amount <laughs> of water yeah. we didn't notice but you did yeah. that yeah. there was um, something else in the water and you've tried to sort of mm. clear that image up haven't you and, and pull it together yeah. Um, so I don't know whether it was a fish or you thought it might have been a, a newt? I'm st I'm kind of erring towards the newts now, yeah. I've got the image, the video clip, because we had to re-look at it after you guys had said to us. So I'll insert it now and then I'll tell you my views afterwards. I think we got him. Yeah, just amazed. From my perspective, I was thinking between two things, a fish, and I was looking at it thinking it was a catfish because it has the mouth of a catfish. Yeah, it was a broad head it had and a, a yeah. rounded yeah broad yeah. head like a catfish yeah. so as it came up 
I kind of thought to myself, ah, it's a fish. It's a catfish. Um, don't know a lot about catfish, but it looked like one to me. Then as it kind of turned itself around and went back down again, I'm sure I could see some legs. Yeah. Uh, I don't think catfish have legs. I'm not 100% sure. I know they do spend a lot of time in mud. So they do have a kind of a, yeah, they I don't spend don't all of their time in water. Anyway, as far as I'm aware. So I don't think catfish have legs. And the underbelly of it also made me think of newt as well. So I'm starting to now err towards the newt because as it twisted and went back down again, it had like what looked like a newt underbelly as opposed mm. to a catfish underbelly. And it had that long tail, yeah. didn't it? Which a newt has, I think. Anyway, the point is... If you know what it is, tell, <laughs> tell him. <laughs> yeah, because it's in, tell our, us. it's in our well. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. and I'm starting to think, I'm, I'm erring towards the newt. Now the size of it, from the UK and newts, we are talking two inches maybe, an inch to two inches for a newt in the UK. Okay. The size of this was probably six to eight inches. Mm. Yes, yeah. comparing it to the size of the bottles that were yeah. floating about Yeah, the so water. it was probably something along that, six to eight inches. So that's a very big newt as well, which got me then thinking, oh, maybe it's a catfish again. Anyway, it's up to you guys. You tell me. And mm. um, we'll do a, a scoreboard, eh? We'll see what, <laughs> yes. see what we come out with. And if it's, a, if it's a catfish, I might do a spot of fishing and see if we can, uh, <laughs> see if we can get it. But, uh, but all good news apparently, that was the really good thing. Somebody said you've got, you've got fish in you, we've got a fish at least, in your yeah. well. That's really good news, Absolutely. apparently, which was really, really nice to hear. Yeah. So yeah, and I'm surprised that there's fish in there because as far as we were concerned, it's been dry. It's been dry for the four years that we've ever as, seen it. As far as we know. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. And I now have got all of the plastic bottles out. Yes. And the water has risen up to, um, there's a large flat stone um that's put in at an angle to sort of for the water to mm. to draw and drain in mm. um and the the water level is right up to this flat stone um so the frog and stuff well there's loads of ledges on the inside yeah. Yeah. but it has this big flat stone that it can get in and out should it wish to i just wanted um, to say that yeah yeah and mm. there are lots of ledges because the the interior of the well mm. is stone built yeah, so there's lots, lots of different ledges i was trying to make a raft as one of our lovely subscri uh, subscribers had said mm -hmm. but the first one sank yeah and, a proper uh, one as well you made it out of wood made it out of little sticks. and string yeah it was lovely <laughs> did you get any photos of it <laughs> the proof so i may gone, have to try yeah. again yeah but um and, and sort of anchor it to the side but right. mm. um, we're keeping an eye on the water level and if I have any concerns then I'll do something else about it. Yeah, yeah. but no, but the frog is, well he's been safe for four years in there by the looks of it, doesn't it? But there is lots of ledges on the way up so I'm yeah. sure it'd be absolutely fine. But you honestly did try to build a raft, didn't you? Yes, and yeah. I said, how's the raft, as I was coming in, coming down to the land, I said, how's your raft? And you said, And I was sunk. watching it sink. Watching yes. it sink. Yeah. Never mind. But it was a plan, as so often plans don't quite come together no they don't but the frog will be safe i'm yeah. sure so yeah uh -huh. another plan that didn't come together ah. was uh <laughs> it's like we planned this or I, know, I just thought that <laughs> was good. this afternoon mm -hmm. um we just had like an hour or so before mm -hmm. the sun was going down mm -hmm. we are cheating i'm going to say this is sunday night and we're putting it out on monday night mm -hmm. um just literally because we know we have a humongously busy day yeah. tomorrow mm -hmm. um so we're we're cheating a little bit on vlogmas kind of however yeah it's still happening here and now so yes we had a, an hour or so and i said oh i think i've found somewhere it's only 10 minutes drive away mm. it's supposed to be a lovely viewpoint let's go and find it um so following the the google maps and we ended up on a track that wasn't a road in all of this mud that has come from the rain so Darren did some excellent reversing <laughs> back out of the situation mm. and we never got to our viewpoint no. but we'll save that one for another day however what we did find was um, many beautiful views mm. and a yeah. large bird 
I think we'll keep the views that we filmed yeah. for another video. But um, we would like some help on identifying this bird as yeah. well. So you managed to get I've got a, a very, shaky picture. A shaky picture of because it was a distance. little distance. Yeah. But even at a distance, it was so big that I spotted it, mm. um, and it wasn't just like a normal everyday bird that you see. No. So we haven't been able to. We're not very good at identifying animals <laughs> and birds, are we? No. <laughs> But yeah, but the, the the film I've got from it was zoomed in as far as I could go on my camera, which is something like 16 times. I'd zoomed mm. it in and from my perspective of looking to the camera, it looked like it was in focus. When I got it and had a look on the um, on the laptop, it wasn't it wasn't in focus. However, you can still make out a good shape of the bird, but most important and, and the size of the bird, probably the size, how yeah. big do you think it was? About two foot. You said it was like a big cat. I thought it was like the size of a cat yeah. sitting. So it was quite a big bird, and, and but then the, 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 the thing bill. was was the bill. Yeah. yeah, the beak of it was something like you know quite big. So and again, curved. Yeah, and I it thought curved. it was it was yellow or paler, much paler than the yeah. bird because it was so bright. Yeah. It was like it had a, a yellow compared to its body. It was yes. Uh -huh. So I'll insert a piece of that now. There we go. And hopefully you'll be able to help us uh, <laughs> identify that bird. It's like we're, we're asking you all of the things today, asking <laughs> you to help us. Um, what did we think? Uh, we didn't really have an idea. We were kind of going towards Cormorant, but then we saw the big bill. Well, I was going towards Cormorant. Yeah. Uh, but then the big bill on it was kind of putting me off a little bit. We didn't really have an idea, did we? Not for the ship. Um, it was by and, a river. And it, it was just literally sitting there, so we never saw like a wingspan no, or no. how it flew or anything like that. No, so, no. yeah, it was... Uh, but it was, uh, it was sitting by a river, well, at the top of a tree next to a river, uh, basically, as you can see yeah. from the video scoping out the situation mm. really yeah so yeah so it was a still a nice hour out wasn't it it was yeah it was a uh -huh. nice hour trip out yeah so that was very nice indeed talking about nice trips though um we went to the church yesterday yeah, we went to church we went to church uh yesterday yes that was yes. right yes uh which was um saturday <laughs> in, in real time yeah which was Saturday, we went to church and it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, this mm -hmm. orchestra were playing and they were playing Christmassy... Christmas music, a few Christmas carols, music. It was, um, just some generally sort of wintry, Christmassy yeah. music. Um, both all live instruments, the orchestra was there beautiful. and then they had about 20 people in the choir. Yes, I would say there just was 20 choir. people yeah. in the choir. Yeah. Um, yeah absolutely beautiful beautiful mm. music mm. um and the you figured out that, that they're going around lots of different smaller areas mm. um so they're probably like from castella branco yeah. or from the surrounding area and then they all meet up mm -hmm. at the venue and give the performance and yeah. uh it was absolutely beautiful wasn't it yeah i did do a little bit of filming there but only on my cat only on my um Mobile phone. Mobile phone, that's it. Uh, purely for myself, but when I've watched it back and it was so beautiful, uh, even the shaky footage and the not brilliant sound quality of it was still quite stunning. The church itself was stunning. Yeah. The, um, the acoustics in there, they had like a wooden um, a wooden roof, uh, sorry, yes. ceiling. Uh, obviously the, the help the acoustics was so beautiful. Um, mm. I ha I would obviously need permission if I was to uh, put that onto YouTube. So um, I might well do that if the video comes out. As I said, I did it for my own purposes so I could listen to it myself again. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go and see them again, though. Yes, uh -huh. you've found out since that they're coming back around, not to the same place where we went, no. but to another local um, town and mm -hmm. another local church. Church, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The beginning of the year, in yeah. the new year. Yeah, the new year. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, early in the new year as well. Oh, so, yes. Uh -huh. 
So yeah, so we'll see. Um, I will try and get maybe get permission to add that into one of our videos. If I can't get that, that's absolutely fine. Um, I'll have to introduce them to you in a different way because it was mm. absolutely beautiful and it was I suppose it was part of our initiation, not initiation, <laughs> that's not right. We came to Portugal looking forward to Christmas and to trying to experience Christmas in a different country yeah. and I felt that was a beautiful experience of Christmas in Portugal. Yes. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful and we were all quite touched by it, weren't we? Yes, we went with um, was, a, a was... couple of friends who had originally made us aware yeah, yeah. that the um, the concert was being held yeah. and um, we said, oh well, you know, yeah, we, we would love to go. So we met up there and mm. we went and all four of us were mm. blown away yeah. by the the actual production, the harmonies, the, the voices. There was one particular young lady mm. and th another member of the choir was crying when this young lady <laughs> sang. So yeah. you can imagine the effect that that had was, on the rest of the audience. It was quite emotional, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The thing that I really liked about it though, um, it, it had just literally started when we got there. So mm. we just quietly went in and sat down and sort of got on enjoying it but we could see the rest of the audience in front of us and for me the number of the old men the local old men who had just wandered in there on their own mm. and were sitting or then met up with their you know their friend their mate and the the smiles on their faces and then all of a sudden the the conductor turned around and he was introducing each yeah. piece of music mm -hmm. And we, we didn't understand everything because obviously it was all in Portuguese, mm. but you could tell, oh, all the phones came out and it was obviously, it was going to be their favourite piece of music. So the phones came out and they were doing that to, to capture the moment and mm. everything. And um, the mayor was there because mm -hmm. she'd, I think she'd organised it, hadn't yeah, she? Possibly. Or, yeah, Or been, you know, a, a big part of mm -hmm. organising it. Mm -hmm. So then at the end, everybody wanted to go up and thank the mayor and she was so lovely just standing time after time she knew everybody by name she gave them all a hug she had a you know a bit of a conversation for each person how was this one where was that one what's happening and um just a real community yeah a co real community outing wasn't it for mm. It was lovely, yeah. absolutely lovely, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to bring you a little bit about that in the future, a mm -hmm. little bit about, uh, hopefully in the Christmas uh, time, so you can experience a little bit about what we experienced yesterday, mm -hmm. rather than us just talking about it. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully you can find somewhere like that in your community, because um, I'm sure there will be something out there. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, just... Waiting out. to be discovered. Yeah, well, absolutely. Yeah. It was a beautiful discovery, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So, yes. We better pull this one to a close. Okay. So, <laughs> I think that's it. So, yeah. So, thank you very much then. Uh, thanks for listening. Help us on the yep, new... identify our... Yeah, our animals. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and we look forward to hearing from you. And as always, it's great having you there. So thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. And we will see you next time. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye see bye. you everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.